Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are continuing on with the HJ wagon. We're going to stick a battery in it and uh, see if it will turn over. Hopefully it will pick up oil pressure and we can get it to bark off. Um, I haven't got fuel in the tank so I'm not going to try it from there but this motor did run when I put it away. So hopefully it won't be too much hassle and it will start up straight away but you never know. All right, got the car to turn over, and now this is what we're faced with. Watch this rotor button here as it turns over. <laughs> Try again. Goes it around and gets to there and stops. And then we can move it over a bit. No. Again. Turns around. The battery's almost dead. No, the battery's dead. But it gets to here and then it stops, so that's what we're faced with at the moment. So I think we're going to be pulling out the dizzy and checking the the uh, gear at the bottom and then take it from there. Alrighty, so here's the dizzy. Looks pretty normal up here. That's what we're faced with. She, there's no teeth there. So I'll get to that spot and stop turning. We're just going to forget that there's uh, going to be bits of plastic in the engine. But yeah, that's that's what was stopping the rider from turning over. All right, let's go. Well, it dropped fuel. So that's a start. I'll try it with some choke. All right, go again. Yep. 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 <clears throat> yep. Something like that. Try it with choke. Yep. Yeah, we're off. So she runs. Beautiful. Yep. So we've got a few things to fix at the moment. That fuel pump is uh, leaking like a sieve. Also, we had to jack the wheels up because it started to move because it's in park up here. It's in park here, but it's not in park down there. It's in reverse, so that was a bit scary. But a few little things to fix. Timing's not right, too. So we'll uh, we'll address that too and get it all running right. But pretty good for sitting for how long it did. Yep. Had a bit of a play around with it this morning, and she's uh banging like a champ. Fix that linkage up. Uh, didn't have to touch the timing. Fuel pump's not leaking, no idea why. Absolutely quiet as a mouse. Too, you can't kill them. All right, I reckon that's where we're going to wrap things up today. Um, I think that stripped dizzy gear was a uh, blessing in disguise. I mean, it wasn't a timing gear, so I'm thankful for that. But I think I got that 
um, timing a little bit better because that car has never started up that quick. Uh, it normally takes a good half an hour, 45 minutes. So uh, probably not that long, but it's, it's it was absolutely ridiculous when I had it. Um, so I'm very happy about that. A couple of things I do have to address on it though. It has got a manifold leak on the exhaust side at the back. So I've got to swap out the gasket there. Um, but yeah, overall very happy with how it ran. Um, like I said, it's never ran like that before. So uh, yeah, that's that's good news for me. It's got a bit of a stumble after you give it a bit of revs, but uh, it might clear out, might not though. We'll see what happens. Um, next on the channel to do with the uh, station wagon, I've got to do the brakes next and then we'll hopefully drive it. I'm going to be fully rebuilding the front brakes. It will have new cylinders, new seals, new pads, new soft lines. Rears are just going to get wheel cylinders and pads because I've got them here. Um, but yeah, after that, it'll be uh, some paint and panel, straightening it out. It's got a couple of dents, got a bit of rust, and then uh, we'll get it all one colour. Until then, take it easy.